I'm not marrying some random cute nerdy guy. I'm marrying my cute nerdy best friend. The first moment, the first moment that I knew I 100% sure that I loved you was when we were watching Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> I looked at you casually and you just had the biggest smile on your face. And I knew that I wanted to see that smile forever. The first time I met you was at student orientation. We were in a group of like 15 awkward freshmen. <laughs> there were so many ways that, that day could go. And there were so many small things that came together that allowed us to meet. I remember seeing you and thinking, this guy seems all right. <laughs> but when I first spoke to you, I knew deep in my heart that we were going to be friends. I knew this is a person who I'd like to keep around. It all started with a simple friendship, which bloomed into a beautiful relationship, which will now turn into an amazing future. I love you and I promise to always love you. I promise to support you in your many endeavors, to comfort you when you're down, to constantly push you to be your best self, as I know you will do the same for me. I will try my best to make you laugh. I promise to always be your friend and listen to you, and to never let you feel alone or as if you're on your own, and to keep showing you foreign shows on Netflix. I promise to only get upset whenever it's within reason. Keegan, I love you more than the world and I can't envision a future without you. I can't wait for a world of laughs and support and a constant feeling of warmth and joy and us dreaming together of things way larger than anything. I love you now and forever. And I wouldn't say this next line if I didn't mean it, but I am promising you that I'll show up on time for D&D. <laughs> you, you are my everything. You're my lamp through dark times. You're the reason I smile or giggle when I should be serious. You're my best friend, and I can't wait for our adventure to start together. Firstly, I can't believe we're finally here. It's like I said, Mimi, nothing is going to stop this wedding from happening, <laughs> even a global pandemic. <laughs> Mimi, I love you. I love the way that you say you'll cook an amazing meal. And then when I look over in the kitchen, I see a single carrot in a pot of water. I love our walks in the park when we go stargazing and how we watch kids shows and then sing along to them in the car. Mimi, I promise to always do my best to make you smile. I promise to tell you stories about the secret constellations. I promise to always listen to you when you're upset, even about the little things, like how forks are useless for soup. I promise to keep, you, <laughs> keep your life interesting by asking you the wacky questions, such as, why are peacocks allowed free reign in the zoo? I love you, Mimi, <laughs> and I'm excited to start our lives together. And I promise that we will be sealed in the temple in the future. And if you want, I'll write a new vow at that time as well. I love you, Meet Me. You're my partner in crime, so let's be legends. I love you, Mimi, with all my heart, to the moon and back. Keegan Vanderwecken and Michelle Mimi Valencia. You have taken one another by the right hand in token of the covenants you have will now enter into the presence of God and these witnesses. Keegan, do you take Mimi, Michelle, as your lawfully wedded wife, and do you of your own free and will and choice covenant as her companion 
and lawfully wedded husband, that you will cleave unto her and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to this holy state of matrimony, that you will love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live. I do. <laughs> Michelle, Mimi, do you take Keegan as your lawfully wedded husband, and do you, of your own free will and choice, covenant as his companion and lawfully wedded wife, that you will cleave unto him and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations per pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live. I do. The blessings I invoke upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs>